Hello guys and welcome to Cooking with Nas. Today I will be making Afghani root. Um, Afghani root is um, a sweet kind of bread. Um, people in Afghanistan eat it with tea and morning for breakfast. Um, the ingredients we're going to be needing are oil, strong white flour, I will be using sugar, milk, I've got the same milk, British semi-skimmed UHT milk. I will be using a one, two, three eggs. I've also got some cardamom, as you can see on the right. Um, this is grounded cardamom. Um, it's not that expensive, um, and it is one of the main ingredients in our root, as it will make the taste go really strong. I've also got some poppy seeds. I've got white ones and I've got black ones. Those will be our toppings on top of the root. Um, you will see that later on in the video how I will be using those two as toppings. I've also got some baking powder that I will be using. Um, this is just normal baking powder. You can have it in tubs like this, you can get it in little packets, baking powder is baking powder, whatever you like. As you can see, my baking powder is perfect for cakes, muffins and biscuits. I also got one cup of corn meal. Um, I have got the medium one i will be using the medium one we've got three different types i've got the medium grounded ones um also make sure to check whether it's medium or not as it will make a big difference while we make the root There you go. So those were my ingredients and um, I would say let's get cooking. So we start off with the flour. Um, we start off with one cup. There we go, so that is a one cup in our bowl. Let's get the next cup filled. There we go, that is my second cup. So in my bowl I have got three cups of flour. I will be adding my corn meal on top of this. There we go, one cup of my corn meal. As you can see it's got a massive difference in colour. 
I am going to be mixing this up. There we go. Make sure you mix it thoroughly so both powders will be mixed proper. So now I will be adding the baking powder. Um, I will show you guys how much baking powder I will be using. Um, there we go. Got half a spoon of baking powder. Those are big spoons. Those are not teaspoons. And you just add that on top. Gonna another half a spoon on top. And get it mixed. So right now you've only got like a powder base here. Um, there's no liquid involved yet. There you go, our main ingredient which will make the magic happen. Put some cardamom, grounded cardamom in your mixture and mix it. There you go, let's get over to my eggs. Um, I've got three eggs here in front of me. I have got my sugar and um, I will be mixing my mixture in a mixer. There are several ways you can use it. Um, you can use a normal mixer and hand mixer. You can do it by hand yourself. Um, really depends what is easier for you. As you can see, I have cracked three of my eggs, all of my eggs open. I will be adding those into my mixer. There we go. I've got my eggs in my mixer. I will be adding one cup of sugar. I will be adding a, another cup of sugar. That makes two cups of sugar. I will be closing the top and I will start off mixing my eggs and my sugar. There you go, all closed. And uh, let's get mixing guys. There you go. So sugar and eggs mixed will make a nice foamy white yellowish mixture. 
I will show you guys in a second once it is all mixed. As you can see, I'm using this method because the mixture is so fast, so strong. So I don't really need to do it by hand. It makes life so much easier. Okay, so we will uh, add some milk into our mixture. I have still got the mixer going. Um, I will be adding some milk onto this now. Um, here's our glass again. Um, so let's have a look how many cups I will be using. There we go. So I've got half a cup of milk that I will be adding into my eggs and my sugar. There you go as you can see it's still going on i haven't touched it i haven't stopped it yet there you go so as i was saying earlier it's got nice and foamy now my sugar has been dissolved you won't be able to feel the sugar in your mixture i will be adding half of my cup of milk there you go guys And let's get mixing again. Next thing I will be adding is oil. I've got the sunflower oil that I will be using. I do not use vegetable oil personally as vegetable oil has got a weird smell to it. I do not want my cake or my bread to smell like vegetables. There you go, that's one cup of milk. There we go, I've just stopped the mixer. I will be adding my oil. As you can see, the mixture that was in there was not oily at all. The oil that I just added stays on top and you can see that it's separated from the actual mixture. And I've got half a cup of oil that I will be adding on top as well. There you go guys. Let's get mixing again.
I would um, definitely recommend you guys to get a mixer like this. It's so much easier. It's not wasting your time and it keeps on mixing in one go. It's literally one time, one period and it keeps on going and going. So I've added my sugar, I've added my eggs, my milk and my oil. Now I will be adding my powder base that I made earlier, which was my flour, cornmeal and my cardamom. How I will be using this is not in one go. As you can see, my mix has got one hole in there and I will be adding gently spoon by spoon. So it will get hard at the same time. There you go, so I'm just going to finish the whole mixture. Spoon by spoon, I will be adding gently small bits into my eggs and sugar. Make sure guys, your mixture is still on and it's not off. There we go, done. As you can see, the mixture inside the mixer has gone hard. That's because we added the corn now and the flour and this is what you will get. As you can see, it's nice and hard now. Got a solid mixture. I will be putting in my oven in a second. I will be cracking one of my eggs here. There we go. I will only be using the yolk. added a little bit of milk in there and I will mix this up um, the yolk of an egg and milk mix it will give you a nice um, brownish top of a broad so what you will do it's the same with pastry so put that on top of your pastry and once you put it in the oven you get a nice golden brown color There you go, so that's just yolk and milk. There you go, so I've got my oven tray. Um, I have put it aluminium foil underneath. Uh, this prevents it from sticking onto the tray um, just because the mixture is so solid I will be using oil underneath on my tray so as I said earlier it will not stick to it
there you go so I will be adding the mixture onto the tray there you go so I will be adding that mixture onto my tray and I will flatten it out just like this make sure you flatten it out um, nice and slowly um, I'm using the spoon to flatten it out but the spoon I have been putting that in my um, oil so it won't stick onto the mixture obviously There you go as you can see you can see my um, spoon flying all over the mixture um, because it's so oily that it will not get stuck There you go guys so uh, once it is flat now i will be adding my um, egg and milk mixture on top of this there you go just gently not too much not too less by the way uh, as long as it's covered so it will give a nice golden brown look to it There you go, as you can see the top is all covered I have not missed a little spot there we go that is all done I will be adding a little design on top of my root so as you can see I've got it flattened it out um, I've got the egg solution on top of it and now I will make a little design with the spoon I've used obviously my spoon is still very oily so it will not get stuck in the dough There you go what do you guys think what does this look like does it look good does it look bad let me know in the comments guys and you can put your own design on there i will be adding the poppy seeds now I will be as i said earlier we've got the black ones and the white ones i will be mixing them both on top of the root there you go I've added some black ones, make sure you spread it nicely, you do not want one piece with only black ones on there. There you go. And the white ones as well.
so once this is all done I will be putting my tray in the oven um, I will put the times for the oven and the degrees into the description but also on the page there we go let's say bye to our abroad and we will see you in a few minutes there we go guys look how amazing and gold brown this looks this is what you have to get um so after cooking always make sure the underneath is not burnt and make sure just to put your knife inside the root and just take it out and you'll find out whether the inside has been cooked as well but look how nice and gold that looks amazing i will tell you guys the smell of it it's amazing there's no smell that can beat this so what you have to do is you need to let the root cool down before you cut it um, if you cut it when it's hot it will literally just fall apart so make sure to let it cool down for a few minutes so the way i cut it i will cut it straight and then i will go um, diagonal so first my straight bits As you can see the inside looks amazing it's been cooked so well as i said earlier you can make your own design on top of it this is the way i normally used to make it uh, well i still make it um, i use the back of a spoon and i use the pop seeds on top There we go, all straight lines. There we go with the diagonal lines. Some people will cut them square, some people cut them this way. Um, I actually know people that will make them round. It really is up to you, the way you like your cake, your bread to be. There you go, uh, let me just show you the inside. As you can see, it's not raw, it's all cooked, nice and fluffy that looks very soft and the back of it nice golden brown Once they are cut, I will still leave them for a few minutes to cool down as the inside will still be hot. And then it's time to serve your root. There we go guys. Um, I actually wish I could share my root with you over the computer, over your phone, however you're watching through YouTube. Because this is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And if there's anything else you guys want me to make. Please let me know.
you can serve the rod with tea, coffee, warm milk, chai, any sort you like. Um, there's only one thing left to say guys, which is, I will see you guys later. Bye!